Welcome to Stump the Scientist. And welcome to this week's Stump the Scientist. We're here with our Chief Scientist, Jim Bray. Our question this week comes from Brock Martin, who wonders if permanent magnets are really permanent and if they lose their force in a generator over time. What do you think about that, Jim? Hmm. That's a good question, Jim. And I'll try to answer it for Brock. The interesting thing about this question is that, is that this is a real concern for engineers that build electrical machines like motors or generators. And so since it's a concern, that tells you right away that this might happen. So let's talk a little bit about what might happen to a permanent magnet. Now you probably all know what a permanent magnet is. We've just about all played with them. Here's one looks like a little piece of metal and it has a magnetic field and it will stick to other pieces of metal. Now, more fancy versions of that are used to build motors and generators. The reason these put out big magnetic fields is that the small magnets which are inside, which are at the atomic level, the atoms make very small magnets, line up and cooperate inside of a permanent magnet and that's how it makes its big magnetic field. Okay, now what may happen is that if we heat up a permanent magnet too much or if we hit it with a shock mechanically too hard, we may disturb the alignment of those little atoms that are lined up to make the permanent magnet field. In that case, it will lose force. It might lose force all the way down to a zero magnetic field. And so, the basic answer to Brock's question is, is that a permanent magnet will stay a permanent magnet as long as we treat it well. And by treating it well, we mean that we don't heat it up to too high a temperature or subject it to too strong of mechanical shocks. And so engineers that are building generators or motors using these permanent magnets adhere carefully to those constraints. As long as they don't allow the machine to get too hot where they're using the magnets, or have too severe a mechanical vibrations, the magnets will stay permanent and the machine will continue to operate as it's supposed to. So good question, Brock, and I hope that's helpful.